Do you like memes and would like to build a meme generator using React and TypeScript? Then this tutorial is for you. Hi everyone, my name is Yasser and I'm an instructor at Jigify Academy. We upload new content on YouTube every Thursday. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of building a meme generator that you can use and share with your friends. So if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And do not forget to hit the notification bell as well. So let's hit it. All right, so let's get started. Uh, what we have right here is a uh, the application is running uh, for 3000 and we have a title and some uh, text. So what we're going to do here, we're going to basically uh, list all the memes that we get from uh, this API and then uh, basically try to generate a new text per meme. So let's start by fetching and getting uh, all the memes and display it. Uh, so before we start, uh, uh, there's, there's some kind of template here uh, for us. So we have a couple of classes, so we don't need to worry about setting up styles because the main focus here is hey, how can we display this using React and, uh, and TypeScript. Uh, we have one type, which is that's the our, our main type, it's, it's the meme type. And uh, we're going to basically uh, inherit or, or take all our whatever, whatever properties we need from that specific one. Okay, so with that, uh, that in mind, let's get started. And um, so the first thing we need to do here is if you want to fetch something, you need to place to call them, right? So first thing we need is here uh, is a uh, basically a state, state that holds all the memes and, they, and then so we could render from it. And you can notice here we have a type. So the type would be either an array of memes or would be not. It depends. So initial state is not in this case. Uh, next up here, we are going to use the use effect. Uh, use effect, this idea is to go and fetch this uh, template of, of memes that we have. Uh, this is a pretty brief, fun, and really nice, uh, good endpoints. There are a lot of things that you can do with this if you're a meme fan. And second, what we do here is we're just going to serialize it to, to a JSON and, uh, and then uh, we set all the memes uh, to the state. So currently, what do we have? We have all the memes lives inside the state. So what is next? Next is pretty straightforward. What we do here is we are going to loop through the memes. And I know I know beforehand that what, what properties are in the meme, there's ID, there's a blank, and uh, there's also maybe name. Uh, so I'm looping through the meme that, that I have, uh, and then basically wrapping each meme in a card component, and uh, and then we have an image, a meme, and a button that we are going to have some event later on that will allow us to generate uh, a new one. So if I would like to save right now, and then let's go back to the UI, and here we go. That's what we have. Going. We have all these memes coming from API. Uh, you see they are blank. They don't have any text. So our job right now is to add the text actually uh, to each one of it. Uh, we're going to do that by clicking the generate. So uh, the next up uh, would be the uh, the model or uh, the model that's going to pop up in screen. All right, so what we need here is we need a model that basically uh, like the moment we click on generate, we need to fill up the whole entire screen and uh, inside the model, we would have a, the image that we have just selected and uh, some text inputs that would be uh, the input to, to the image so we could generate maybe more text uh, on top of that image. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to also keep track of all on other states. So uh, the first thing would be is we need to make sure that, hey, is the model open or closed? And that can be handled via, uh, via the state. Uh, second one we need is we need to pass some specific data to that current model. And uh, in our model, what, what it needs, it needs an ID uh, to tell what is that template ID. Uh, we need a name uh, <clears throat> because uh, uh, that name could be used for, for example, maybe a key or um, whatever. We're going to see later what we need for that. And there's the blank. The blank is actually a, uh, a property that holds an, a URL of an image where there is no text. It's just like a blank, as you, as you saw from the thumbnail. And the last one is lines. So you can see here a meme can consist of multiple lines, not necessarily just one line. And, uh, and we, here we have a default of one, uh, one of it. So uh, next you can see here, we have the model state is still undefined. So let's actually create that type. So the type is we're going to pick from a meme. Well, I'm only interested in these couple of properties from the meme type, uh, nothing more. 
All right, so next up is we need to take care of the handling, the opening and closing. So, so for opening a model, when we open a model, what we really need here is I do need a uh, those properties that can say to me, hey, all right, so the current model that I click in has this ID, this name, this blank, and then this line, so this how many lines. And second is we need to turn that model to be true. Right, so let's apply this handle open model and where we would go is where it would go to that event, which is on click on handle model and the open model. So it's basically this one. Once we click this generate. And uh, so when, once we click this generate, we're going to uh, feed this uh, function, uh, this kind of one argument, which is this object that has the ID and name uh, blank and as well as lines, how many lines this specific uh, specific meme has. All right, uh, so uh, we click that and uh, and then what we need to do is we need to handle the closed model. So the closed model is gonna basically just gonna squeeze the thing, all the, uh, the state that has that model uh, uh, or the one maybe we select a model, we need to kind of uh, clean it up. So this is the cleanup line. And then also this video will clean up where we set the model to false. So we can hide that model from view. Uh, like that we need to render the model. So I haven't yet created that a component, which we're going to do it uh, like in a moment. Uh, so what does this have is uh, we, we are checking that, hey, is the model open and do we have a, an ID in that model? Uh, so this is, maybe you don't need to do that, but it's kind of, uh, it's, it's good to have uh, another another guard. Uh, and if that's, if those two conditions mix, then this model will render. And uh, the model which we're gonna create, which we're gonna create pretty soon, uh, we're passing the ID, name, blank lines, and handle close one because we're closing the module from inside in this specific case. So uh, next up is here, let's go and see what this model is and let's actually create that. So here we have the model component and uh, we need to first, let's start with creating some types. So I uh, need uh, a model uh, memes that I'm plugging in, which is only in those properties, lines, blank, uh, name and ID from, uh, pick it from me. Uh, and second is what I want to do is I uh, want to actually have uh, uh, the, the, these properties as well as a handle close model. Uh, so let's define another another type. So uh, this is the text input, which, which we're, I'm going to explain uh, in, in a bit. But the idea of it is to basically, uh, because we have so many lines and uh, so we need some kind of uh, uh, some data structure where we could uh, Kind of map each line to its field, so we know uh, where to, uh, or wh wh where where can we find this uh, like specific string or that specific line. Uh, and then next up is uh, let's uh, let's just structure all all the all the properties that we we want to pass. If you if you go and if you check this uh, the app that uh, yes, it's, we would have all these properties. This is the the model that this property is the model needs to actually the function. Uh, so we're passing them and then destructuring them as well. Uh, so next up here, we need to handle different states. So the first state is we need to to hold all these uh, ticks. Uh, the idea here is going to look something like that. So if we have, let's assume we have three uh, three or two lines. Uh, and maybe, maybe let me just give you a couple of, uh, or one example here. Let's assume we have uh, this image. So you notice uh, this image is, uh, so this is kind of the, the, the plank meme so you see it's basically empty uh, i will provide a link to the uh, to the to the api that i'm using here so you could read more the documentation but here is just a preview on how uh, how one this aspect works from the from this documentation if you want to fill it with text and it depends on how many lines you have uh, I, I don't think i can get this uh, text larger but uh, bear with me here so what it would look like uh, we need to structure the url in a, in a specific way so uh, first will be the, uh, the images, so maybe let me move it to uh, maybe somewhere here where you could see what I'm going to do. Uh, so the idea here is we have, this is the base uh, URL. So what we want to do is, or this is how the API works actually, uh, is we want to, if you want to add lines or, uh, or images, we need, we need to send a get request to basically a, uh, a specific URL. So uh, the URL would be is uh, images and then followed by what ID. So here is, is right. And then and if you, it has two kind of lines, the first line goes after. Uh, so here would be uh, first, maybe uh, first line. And then the second would be here, uh, second line. 
and then second on the engine. So if we try to right now send a pitch request to this one, now you, you would notice that that we have first line at the top and then second in the bottom. And it depends. So if we have one line, uh, so let's assume we have one line, then it's going to look something like, like that. Or if we have four lines, then we have four, uh, four kind of paths. Uh, one, two, three, four, whatever, uh, and so on. So that's basically how you can how you can uh, work with this area. Just send a Git request, and that's what we uh, what what we are what we are, what we are, what we're gonna build basically here. Uh, is if, if I go back to the uh, to the model, uh, so it's gonna look like hey, if there's if it's the first line, then I'm going to have a zero here, maybe the first line, and then if it's a second, I will have second. Uh, and, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna try to make it dynamic because this means can can have one or month or like many. Uh, all right, so that's what is the, actually the text input card for it is we have the number as in uh, it's key and then the string of what is the message or what we wanna really like. Uh, so yeah, for that, let's keep it just, the initial set just empty object. We don't need to initialize like anything here. Uh, so yeah. That's just undo a couple of times. Uh, so what we have here is the next, the next one we want to have is logic. So this is more of like a unit. I want to have a, uh, so when I generate it, I want to just, be just display some text like, hey, we are now right now pitching, getting this image from API, just please wait. Uh, and then uh, I want this, uh, so you see we how we constructed a URL so we could fetch that new image with the, with the text that is in. So I'm going to save that or construct that image and, and save it to this state so we can submit it or can we can fetch it later on. All right, so uh, next up is we need the handle chain. So you know that uh, uh, that basically because we have inputs that we, that we want to basically consume data from. Uh, so we are going, I'm going to store what is the index of that specific line into, into a, a custom attribute. Let's call it data index. Uh, and then second is uh, what I'm going to what I'm doing here is I'm basically I'm checking if it's if there is a current input. So this is because this could might return an all. Uh, so we have to check if that's if it exists first. And then second, what I'm doing here, I'm just using uh, the basically just spreading the previous state so and not to and to override or remove the previous state from this one uh, and second here is the is basically what what which line I'm now editing so this could be zero this could be one it depends on what which line I'm really editing and now we, we're gonna see in a moment how how we can determine that uh, so next up is here the either target so by doing this we will go we are going to save that specific text to to, to the to the right uh, line. Uh, right, so that's handle change. Let's move on to the handle submit. So what do I need in the handle submit? I do need first to, uh, to like saying, hey, we are loading now. We uh, let's just just display some some text there, uh, and then uh, a, a variable called layers. Uh, and the layers is basically yes, you see here we it's coming from the state text, and uh, and and the layers is as I said zero, and like each each property is a layer. Uh, and this is the this is the new image or this is the image that I'm constructing. So eventually it's going to look like this. We have ID and then we have uh, maybe first here, second there. Dot new. So this is the URL I'm trying to uh, basically uh, construct. So let's see what how we can do that. So if I look through the layers, so you see I look through the properties. So the remember the properties are as such. We have zero and then first. Then we have one, for example, and then second. Maybe we have the two, and then it's third. Uh, so I'm looping through each one of it, and I'm basically just taking that that data, and you know, like I'm it as you see here. I'm embedding it to the uh, to the image here. So if it's the last one, because the last one is specific, uh, kind of a, a special case which we need the dot png because that's that's, that's how it's in, how how it should be constructed. Uh, otherwise, just say, hey, go ahead, just go append uh, the value that I get. So append first, append second, and then if it's because third is the last, append third uh, and follow it with .png. And that's basically how, how I'm constructing the URL. So after that, I'm just setting it to the, uh, to the image. And uh, for the handle image loading, we're going to I'm going to use this on, on, on an attribute called on load. So that means that hey, the image is already kind of fetched. So let's turn off the loading uh, to false. Uh, and lastly, 
uh, because the lines that come from the API are actually uh, are actually like numbers one two three four like how many lines so I'm just basically converting uh, the input so the idea here is if I, if lines is equal to three I want to have an array of one two three okay. that, uh, or zero one two um, yeah so I, because why I need that uh, I need it to to loop through it because if I have three lines I, I want to generate three inputs or if I have two lines I want to generate two inputs and so on. Uh, next step is we need the form, uh, and inside the form here, what we here we basically where we uh, loop through the array of lines, and uh, and then at each line we need a, an input, so that can be only for that specific line. And you can see here we have this custom data index, and that's what what how we would know. Okay, I'm editing line the second line, editing the first one, I'm editing the third or fourth, fifth, it doesn't matter. And on the handle change, we're going to you know, do whatever we did with handle change or whatever we're not going to do. Uh, lastly, is the generate. So that's basically which we're going to uh, it's going to fire up the on submit and handle submit uh, uh, action. Uh, lastly, we need to we need just some just some UX it's loading. Please wait uh, statement. And here is the the image. So because the first image could be uh, blank. And if we have, if we generated one that's not blank, then it's going to repla be replaced. And you can see here on load, I'm, I'm invoking the handle image loaded, which is basically if the image loaded, they turn the loading to false. So now I know I basically can like turn it off to false. Uh, and lastly, what, what I need here in last is a, what if I want to choose, what if I want to choose another template. So let's basically uh, close that model and choose another one. So if I save the file and let's see what we're going to get. Uh, so let's maybe click on on this, for example. So, so now you can see that it opened as a model, as a pop-up here. There are some CSS that I haven't showed, but it's pretty straightforward. You can check it from the file. Uh, and then I could now maybe add uh, like first here and then like second. And when I click this enter or click generate, you see that first. Now we can change the template. Maybe we can go for... Uh, Maybe, what do you think? What do you think? Maybe this trick one. Uh, what, 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 what do you think would be funny here? Let me just think. Uh, um, maybe use actual tile <laughs> and then Use uh, press enter, and now it's this way it's generating. So use actual type. No thanks. <laughs> use any. Uh, yeah. So that's basically it. And it, as you can see, it's pretty dynamic. Uh, it could choose it could be line or that, that doesn't matter if it's one or many many lines. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it here. Uh, it's pretty straightforward and uh, pretty basic. Uh, so uh, we have used here. Uh, some, uh, some 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 practices practices with uh, with uh, with TypeScript and uh, React. So uh, next up here, I'm going to uh, basically link the code in the description so you can have access to the code base and you know play around with it. Cool. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you got any questions, and I will see you in the next week. See ya.